Good afternoon, everyone. This is Dr. Diggs. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest. We are going to be doing our 2020 waifu tier list with chat right now. We also have special guests today. Gus, introduce yourself. Hey. Gus is our wonderful neighbor who brings food every single holiday. I hope you guys are ready. And here we go. <laughs> All right, guys, so I included all of the different units that we have, and this is going to be a completely objective, very important waifu tier list, and we're definitely not drunk on New Year's Day. Or I guess New Year's Eve is what day it is. Now, I got some feedback from the more recent uh, tier list that I did, um, where, you know, you guys didn't really think I did a very accurate job. So my goal today is to be just a little bit more accurate and really, you know, make my community proud. So we're going to start off with Nasha, guys. This is a completely objective review. So Nasha, she's good. She's good to us. You know, she's she's useful, but you're never going to really get much use out of her. She's kind of, you know, lolly looking. She's definitely a bob, so we're going to put her over in the FBI category. Now, Camillo is my personal husbando. So I'm going to put Camillo over in the you're a degenerate category because I absolutely love Camillo, you guys. He is the best character. Now, we got all of the traps starting early here. So we're just going to move Uni right on over to the FBI list. However, I'm going to put Uni down in the dumpster tier list. Now, the reason I'm going to put Uni into the dumpster tier list is I tried to get in contact with Uni's voice actor, and unfortunately, they didn't want to talk to me. So Uni, you can get dumpstered since you did not want to come on my channel and talk to me. Vadim, he's a great older brother character. You know, he's definitely side waifu material. Like, we saw him in the story, we saw his interaction with Marjorie. He can't be anything more than side waifu, though. Balo is in a very similar position, but Balo is always going to be at home cooking brownies for you, so we are going to go ahead and put him under the main waifu category. A little bit of a bear character, but he is going to be absolutely incredible now i don't know who this guy is i one of y'all is gonna have to oh my god we're breaking everything we're gonna have to we're gonna have to put him somewhere so i think we're just gonna put him oh my god Badim's moving now okay we can do this we're just gonna put him in x waifu category i'm sure one of you guys knows what category he goes in oh you want him put in trash okay we'll put him in the dumpster right next to uni now, controversial opinion here, guys. I do want to do Zazan. Now, I know the global community really loves Zazan. I personally hate Zazan. And let me tell you the reason I personally hate Zazan. I personally hate Zazan because the community, the community really thinks that Zazan is like this great unit. We're just going to dumpster fire Zazan right now. Just put him right in the dumpster fire. Now, very similar, very similar reality here with Mia. Mia's definitely, oh my god, I keep moving everything. Mia is definitely a main waifu. Oh my god, I can't do anything here. Oh my god, it doesn't want me to move Mia. There we go. Mia is in the main waifu category. She does everything right, right? Like, she's just an incredible unit. Miche is the same way. Like, they can't do anything wrong. So he's going to go right next to Best Bay, Mia, and we're going to call it good. Now, I see all of you guys calling FBI. Get out of here. Everybody knows that Mia is like a 10,000-year-old dragon. Now, let's talk about a serious problem here, and that's Liarte. I think Liarte is uh, definitely ex-waifu material. I think Liarte is ex-waifu material because you need her but you hate her at the same time, right? Like, the moment you actually need her shop, she's just not going to proc for you. So, I mean, fuck Liarte, right? Now, Sodaly... Sodaly gets a big ex-waifu. He might even get cheats on you status just because Gummy uses him and abuses him in such a brutal way. I mean, I think back to the scandal-not-scandal scandal of the Chicken Little 
pulls our rigged situation. It's quite obvious that Sodaly is absolutely in the cheats on you category. Definitely right along with Gummy. Dia. Now, everybody loves Dia, so I'm going to put Dia in the Euro Degenerate category. This is like the top tier waifu status. Dia needs to win, right? Tidus? Tidus is okay. He's going in ex-waifu. Ah, actually, he's going to go and cheats on you because he has such good looks. He's not going to stay at home. He's going to wander. Um, Murmur here definitely goes under cheats on you because she's in so much love with Sodaly that she's going to follow Sodaly anywhere. So Sodaly has to be in the same category as Murmur because they obviously mean so much to each other. Now, Serge, oh my gosh, breaking everything still. Serge, you know, he's kind of hot, really loyal. He's actually going to go into the main waifu category. I actually think that Serge is a very good husbando. And I think he could do really good things if he tried. Laswell. You guys, Laswell's going to go into ex-waifu category. I just hate him. I think he's useless. I'm not a fan. Same with Christmas Mashery. Christmas Mashery is going to go right next to Laswell. There, I, you know what? Let's just throw Christmas Ramada in there as well. You know, they don't really have a purpose. Laswell does have a purpose, but he does, he's not really in the story. And I really don't want Lazworm as a husbando. He's definitely like Brave Exvius material. So he's older school. We're going to put Rain in the same boat. Just because they're, you know, Brave Exvius characters, they're ex-waifus. You know, maybe if this was a couple years ago, if we were a little bit younger, a little bit more naive, we would actually, you know, do something with this. But honestly, they're Brave Exvius characters. Etri, no, no. Just right to the dumpster for Etri. Uh, Sosha. There's a lot of people who have a secret love with Sosha. So Sosha's going to go into the side waifu category, guys. Uh, little Leela, you know, Bob's favorite. It's going to go right to the FBI. We're just going to plug her right in there, guys. Just plug her right in. I actually forgot Naya existed on my previous waifu tier list. And I feel kind of bad for that, but I actually feel like Naya would make a really good waifu. So we're going to put Naya in the main waifu category just because, you know, she treated Shutsel good before she got brutally murdered. Severo also deserves to be in the main waifu category. Actually, you know, he's side waifu material. He's side. He's kind of got resting bitch face. Um, we're just going to leave him there. I I personally like Severo, but I think as a community, we just we just can't we can't endorse the Severo attitude, right? All right. Uh God, what's this guy's name? I can never remember Valade. Valade is his name. He's definitely going into cheats on you category. He's got a nice face, but we all know he's gonna be full of shit. Phoebe, you guys, can Phoebe go anywhere else? Can we just acknowledge that Phoebe is probably the best waifu in all of War of the Visions? Like, my heart goes to Phoebe. Like, she is such a nice character. She's she's god tier. That's right. She's god tier. Let's talk about let's talk about Sir Rob. Sir Rob. I mean, I feel like Rob is like the dad you always want. I feel like I would be happy if I came home and Sir Rob was my husband. So. I'm going to put Sarab under main waifu. Now, Victoria is problematic because she's a terrible character in the main story. And I know that everybody probably wants her under like main waifu or any something like that. You know, she's my main waifu in some ways, but she's also going to cheat on your ass. So we're putting her under cheats on you. Miranda. Miranda is definitely a cheats on you as well. Let's be honest, she was brought up by, you know, Seymour and Sir O, so definitely cheats on you's uh, status. Um, excuse me, guys, excuse me. I need you, I need you to get off of my Miranda right now. Ramza. Now, Ramza is definitely degenerate tier. We do love Ramza. He is... Or she is. I mean, I, I never really know what pronoun to properly use with Ramza. However, definitely degenerate tier. We do love Ramza. Definitely 
definitely. I, I don't know, Mamoon. I think Ramza might be a she. Um, I like that you guys are all like trying to throw that into chat right now. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it, there's not much to say about, you know, Sasayaki. We just dumpster her right away. Uh, Uldoa is definitely a cheats on you. Let's be honest. Uldoa, really, guys? Really? Ain't nobody's waifu. Ain't nobody's waifu is Uldoa. Uh, Vistral, very similar to Ziza. Just gonna put on the cheats on you category. Uh, Kadia. You know, Kadia is a very pure healer. And I feel like she might have a little bit of, like, domestic housewife, like, banger on the side type with her. So I'm gonna put her under the side waifu category. Um... Lorelei, leader of a ninja village, uh, also probably really good at, you know, making a sandwich and just taking care of you, right? I I feel like Lorelei would be the type of person where, like, you come home and she's like, hello, how are you? How was your day at work? Like, I think she would just be a really caring waifu, and I'm going to put her in the main waifu category for that. Uh, Marguerite. Marguerite. I mean, we're going to FBI Marguerite because you just don't want to be near her. She's going to take your ass down. Uh, should sell. We're also going to. Oh, my God. OK, hold on. Should sell. We're going to put into FBI as well because you don't want to die being married to should sell. So we're just going to throw, you know, we're going to get rid of all those problems right now. Lorenzo, good guy. Lorenzo will throw under main waifus. I can never remember this girl's name. Uh... You know, I know that she is loved by a couple people in the world, but I know Mariluke, Mariluke is not good. Durando, you know, he's a loving dad and I kind of want to dumpster him, but he's a loving dad. So we're going to put him under main waifu like he takes care of that kid. He's going to, you know, he's going to run the kids to school in the morning and take care of you. So, I mean... <laughs> We could put Durando in the FBI. <laughs> but I think, you know, Curry is more, you know, FBI material. So we're just going to put King Curry, you know, we're just going to, you know, arrest him and throw him into the FBI category. Now, Ryu. I feel like Ryu is like the side waifu that will get shit done for you without you knowing, right? Like, I feel like Ryu is like, I'm sorry, you said what to my husbando? And then, like, he's going to beat their ass down. That's Ryu. Lilith? I mean, Lilith's a tough one, guys. Lilith's a tough one, guys. I feel like Lilith's an ex-waifu. I feel like she's an ex-waifu. I feel like that's the direction we have to take her. I mean, she's not a main waifu. She's not a main waifu. I just, I feel like, I feel like there's something in her that's just going to take you down. Uh, Seabor is definitely side waifu material, let's be honest, the amount that man drinks. Uh, cannot remember this unit's name right off the top of my head, but she's one of the three, so she's going into the category of cheats on you because she's so loyal to fucking Sodaly. Uh, Chell, Chell is an easy one. We're just going to put Chell under your degenerate. Uh, Chell is absolutely incredible and can do great things for you. I'm really noticing a trend of units in the you're a degenerate category. They're really good at casting quicken and haste. Uh, Mario, you know, Mario was a huge disappointment. So we're going to put Mario in the ex waifu category. Mario, we did, you know, I expected great things from you. You didn't have the AP generation that I needed. Fuck you, right? Adelard, Adelard side waifu. Let's be honest, you're not going to be able to lock that man down anytime soon. Uh, Dario, we're going to go right to the FBI category. If we had a hospital category, we would put Dario in the hospital category. Tyrell, we're going to put in the hospital category slash FBI category as well. Ravi's. Now, I think Ravi's, while she may be main waifu material, is much more side waifu material, so we're going to we're gonna side waifu her. Just because she travels out of her way to meet Saburai and get trained by them. Like, we all know that Seymour and Ravi's are sleeping together casually, right? 
Like, it just, it just makes sense. You just have to accept it. That's what's happening. So we're going to put Ravi's under side waifu. You want Mustadio under degenerate, guys? No. No, Mustadio's going right where he belongs under your degenerate. Fina? Y'all. Y'all, I'm so fucking sick of Fina. She was trash in Brave Exvia. She's trash in War of the Visions. We're just going to dumpster her right away. Uh, Shadow Lynx. Shadow Lynx is uh, main waifu material. Ramada. Now, controversial opinion. I think Ramada is main waifu material, too. We all know. We all know that she has a mole on her left cheek. We all know. Sir O goes into the year degenerate area. Just because, I mean, Sir O, Sir O, guys, Sir O. Uh, Salir, just for Justin, we're going to put the you're in a degenerate category. We're also going to put it in that category for Bob. Um, I don't know why you guys want her to go into the FBI. She's definitely like waifu material, right? Like... I'm sorry, guys. Like, you don't have to be... Like, it's okay for her to be in the you're a degenerate category. Lady Helena, on the other hand, is definitely going into the FBI territory because you never know when she's going to come back and fucking stab you in the back. Uh, Gafgarion cheats on you. I mean, can he really go anywhere else, guys? Can he really go anywhere else? Childish Ilyana... Uh, Ishtola, guys. I feel like Ishtola is an ex-waifu. That's my gut reaction. I feel like nobody really likes Ishtola, but, like, you were forced to use her when Final Fantasy XIV first came out. So, I think she's really going to be an ex-waifu territory. Uh, Mont is very similar, right? Actually, Mont is kind of a whore in the storyline, so let's put him in the cheats on you category. Uh, we do have, we do have our first, our very first special uh, waifu, you guys. And, you know, there was, there was a lot of controversy, everyone. There was a lot of controversy in my VC card, you know, tier list. And so we're going to be remaking that. However, Red Chocobo, guys, Red Chocobo is an incredible VC, an incredible Esper. And so we're going to put Red Chocobo right here in the You're a Degenerate area. Sorry, guys. Had to do it. Had to do it. And Red Chocobo is incredible. Right where right where they belong. Right where they belong. All right. Eileen is main waifu material. Um, I think we all know that... You know, actually, Eileen's definitely side waifu because we know Eileen's main waifu is Oran J. And ain't nobody going to be getting, you know, main waifu action from Eileen if your name isn't Oran J. Mashery. Ziza. You know, just kind of, you know, if you know, you know. If you know, you know, guys. Gilgamesh. You know, we don't know what goes on with Gilgamesh. He's like living in a harem world up above. Like, I don't know, guys. There's something weird with Gilgamesh. A Yerma. Now I think about Yerma, I think about Merlo, and I think about, you know, his desperate need for waifus. So I think Yerma is an ex-waifu, just because he's Merlo's main waifu. Stern, definitely a side waifu. He's not ready for commitment. Thancred as well is side waifu material, right? He kind of comes, he kind of goes. Zombie Ryryu, just because he's a limited time unit, is side waifu, right? Here it is, everyone. The moment you've all been waiting for. Halloween Little Leela, guys. Gonna be going into the Euro Degenerate category. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you say. Little Leela's absolutely like one of the best units in the game. I can't, I can't not have Little Leela. I can't not have Little Leela in the top tier waifu list. If if any of you guys agree with me, if I could get some awoos flooding chat, that would be wonderful. Guys, really, if I could get some awoos just flooding chat, I really need that support there. Uh, Rosa. Rosa's definitely going to be cheating on you with Cecil and with Kane. 
Why would Rosa go to the FBI? Why would Rosa go to the FBI? Dwayne? Dwayne's going to be an ex-waifu. Because he's a Dark Knight, he's probably going to end up killing himself at some point. So he's going to be out of the main storyline. Uh, King Elda. Actually, King Eld. King Eld is going to go into main waifu territory. I mean, you think about how long he really, like, how hard he tries to preserve the bloodline. Like, that's some dedication. Uh, Ketone. Oh, man, where do I want to put Ketone? Oh, man. Side waifu, I guess. I guess side waifu is more accurate for her. Uh, Kane is definitely cheats on you material. Him and Rosa are just having a thing over here in the corner. We're gonna put Cecil here. They're just, they're having a threesome in the cheats on you area over here. So we're just gonna leave the Final Fantasy IV units just like humping each other in the corner. Skull, I feel like, is pretty husbando material, just given from the main story. I would want to come home to him. Uh, Glacella. Glacella's made a lot of bad decisions, and she always comes back to Mont. So I'm actually going to put Glacella under main waifu because she always returns. She always returns to Mont. Uh, Delita. Delita's going to fucking steal whatever princess he wants. So we're just going to call the FBI on Delita right now because, you know, he's probably going to steal some princess. Warrior of Light is not even a character, so we're just going to put him in the dumpster. Like, y'all know, like, Warrior of Light doesn't actually exist, right? Okay, now Agrius. You guys, Agrius was going to be main waifu until everybody decided to bitch on my unit tier list that I made Agrius A tier. I'm just saying, guys. I'm just saying. You do me wrong, I'm going to do your waifus wrong. You do me wrong, I'm going to do your waifus wrong. So Agrius goes right to the dumpster. Right to the dumpster, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you guys just had to bitch about my uh, previous tier list. I'm sorry, guys. This is all your fault. This could have been avoided. Um... I, you know, Queen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Queen. I'm not trying I'm not trying to hurt your guys' feelings or anything, but you know, you guys are so toxic that I just had to do it. Uh Frederica, does anybody really care about Frederica anymore? She's ex waifu, she's old news. Uh Luartha is gonna go to the FBI because you can't walk around dressed the way that she dresses. <clears throat> Engelbert. Engelbert is going to be main waifu material. I don't care what you guys say. Engelbert is main waifu material. Mm. Howlet. Howlet is probably cheats on you. Just the way he acts in the main story is very cheats on you material. Uh, Ruin Stern. Oh man, I feel like... Oh... My dogs are going nuts right now. God, Ruin Stern's ex. <laughs> He's your ex that went a little nuts when you broke up with him. I could see that. I could see that. Uh, Kilfay. Kilfay's ex waifu material as well. Venera. Okay, now, controversial opinion. Controversial opinion. I think Venera is ex waifu because I think Venera is the wife that you broke up with and then got really hot, right? She's the waifu that, like, when she was with you, she let herself go, and then, you know, the moment that she found another husbando, she just, like, you know, she just, yeah, yeah. Uh, Sid. Sid has to be up here, right? How many times has Sid been your daddy? How many times have you just been, like, screaming for daddy Sid? Uh, Ildira as well, sexy librarian. How can you not? How can you not, guys? Uh, Lucia, you know, Lucia's definitely ex, well, Lucia's kind of a cheats on you as well. This is going to start getting messy. We're just going to put the wind units together so that now Howlett and Lucia are a thing down here in the lower right. Uh, Medina, Medina's definitely main waifu. All right, guys, in my first waifu tier list video, 
this Esper was nominated as the number one waifu out of all waifus, guys. Out of all waifus, number one waifu. So we're gonna we're gonna let the real waifu reign supreme here. Uh, if you guys didn't know, this waifu's name is Behemoth, not Behemoth. And I would appreciate it if you all gave her the respect that she fucking deserves. Okay, guys? Tomberry. Tomberry is definitely uh, main waifu. Even though he's going to stab you in the back. Main waifu. Okay, this one was a special one that I put on there. Because all of you guys, for the last, like, year have been like orgasming over fucking the Final Fantasy Tactics agility up card. And I'm so tired of hearing about it. Like, I'm sorry, but I'm dumpstering it. I don't care what you guys say. I don't care. It's in the dumpster, guys. It's in the dumpster. Uh, last one we have is Els Rawl, you guys. Els Rawl, we're gonna put under, okay, if I can do this. We're gonna put her under X waifu. Ain't nobody gonna get married to a girl that sleeps on you all the time. Let's be honest, she's not waifu material. All right, before I end this video and make this the longest video that I've ever uploaded to YouTube, I do just wanna take a moment and consult with chat and make sure that chat is on the same page as me. Uh, Fryavia is not a unit that exists, okay? Fryavia does not exist. That's a brave XVS unit. I don't know what you're talking about. Hmm. Oh, well, I think I made my I think I made my point uh, fully clear. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. We're gonna do some more tier lists tonight, and I hope you guys are ready for a full New Year's drunk experience. Um. As always, if you do want to support me, make sure you go to dig.gs slash coins and use my affiliate link. I'm just saying, guys, Ayaka deserves to be in the dumpster. If you want to debate where I put everybody on the, you know, on the waifu tier list, make sure you come to our Discord, dig.gs slash Discord. I'm always willing to talk to you guys, and if I don't like your opinion, I'm just going to ignore you. And as always, everyone, great of fools, I'll see you. Have a great rest of your day, YouTube.